searing spear range because you block the Flinta pool. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's unfortunate. And those are two games where I said, <laughs> Ramon has these games locked up. And sadly, some mismanagement on his part led to uh, Marcos being able to steal the win. But again, Marcos uh, managed to uh, win the game and move on to top eight, I believe. So uh, we're going to see Saito's deck uh, a little more. Yeah. And now we cut over to Brian Kibler versus Justin Troyer. Brian playing Green Black Ooze. We've seen him a little bit earlier today. Also did a deck tech in the sideboard with Glenn Jones versus Justin Troyer and his blue and red flash deck. Um, now Brian ended up losing last round as you do see him coming across here with a guy on a, with a Rancor on it. Death we'll Rite Shaman. That, it is a Death Rite Shaman. We do see Brian giving the beatdowns early and often as only he can. Brian believes that he lost playing for top eight last round uh, in a feature match that was, not, that was off camera. But we might be incorrect about that. This could be a match that is playing for top eight, but at the very least, we do get to see the Dragon Master one last time in the standard portion as he is going to come across with the rank war again, and he is just going to pass here. No black mana yeah. for Brian just yet. And we'll see a Boros Reckon are probably going to slow down these attacks a little bit here. And are we going to get attacked with Justin? Or no? So, no. Oh, probably afraid of Wolf or Avengers. So, um, packs for three. We have uh, just a trade here. Brian comes in again. Gonna get his Rancor back. Looks like we might have a death rate. Yeah. And he just does pass the turn back, so no black mana form. You can see an abrupt decay. You see duress in his hand. Rancor did come back, and now Augur Bulls is gonna come across for one. Boris Reckoner did deal three to Brian, of course. Yeah, and this is unfortunate because Justin has Justin's hand is just such gas. Yeah, you see a restoration and Brian angel just there. Has, you know, no black mana to do anything. You can just Pretty unfortunate for Brian to go down this way, but uh, you know, good showing up to this point. Um, you know, the game's not over by any stretch, but Justin's hand is very strong, and he's in a pretty good position. I don't want to, I don't want to call the game because clearly last game that I called was incorrect. But uh, I think Brian basically <laughs> knows what's up. You do see a Searing Spear go to Justin's hand. His last Augur of Loss gave him a Sphinx of Revelation. And he's probably not going to need to cash. You're going to see two Searing Spears here. Upstairs, upstairs. Brian's going to rank her up that Augur of Loss and extend the hand. <laughs> Justin Troyer does win in a bit of a laugh for there in game three yeah. against Brian Kibler in the green-black ooze deck. So we'll see if